हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो वेलकम बैक टू माय न्यू वीडियो सो आप सभी के डिमांड पे मैंने ये वीडियो लाई है सो वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी यूजफुल टू यू सो टुडे इज अ टॉपिक इज एज यू नो दैट एक्टिव एंड पैसिव वॉइस द रूल्स इन ऑल टेंसेस सो यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द रूल्स ऑफ पैसिव फॉर्म इन ऑल देंट इन ऑल टेंसेस सो वीडियो इज गॉन वेरी वेरी यूजफुल टू यू सो वॉच द वीडियो टेल एंड विदाउट स्कीपिंग ऑल्सो आई हैव अपलोडेड वन आई हैव अपलोडेड अ वीडियो ऑन एक्टिव एंड पैसिव वॉइस सो यू कैन वॉच इट एंड अंडरस्टैंड इट बेटर सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट इट येस सो first of all we'll see the basic rule of active and passive voice and the example so before uh, seeing the uh, seeing the basic rule of active and pa passive uh, just i'll see that what's active and passive so active is uh, is the tail us what a person or thing does and passive is on the another hand uh, is uh, passive on another hand it tells that what is done to someone or something so uh, in active voice the subject performs the action verb on the object and in passive the subject is being acted upon so nothing is difficult uh, in easy way if i can tell you that in active just remember the subject comes uh, comes first and in uh, passive the object comes first also uh, active it tells that uh, about what person or thing does and uh, also uh, and on other hand passive tells that uh, what is done to uh, to someone or something means एक्टिव जो वॉइस होते हैं वो बताते हैं कि एक कोई चीज़ कोई वस्तु या इंसान क्या कर रहा है और पैसिव हमें बताता है कि किसी वस्तु या इंसान पे क्या किया जा रहा है सो लुक एज आई टोल्ड यू टुडे इज आर टॉपिक इज रूल्स ऑफ एक्टिव एंड पैसिव फॉर ऑल टेंसेस सो आ बेसिक रूल फॉर एक्टिव एंड पैसिव इज फॉर एक्टिव सब्जेक्ट प्लस वर्ब प्लस ऑब्जेक्ट and of a passive object plus verb plus subject so here in active i have as i told you that subject comes first but here in passive the object it comes first so examples of active first anna painted the house in passive the house was painted by anna here anna is a subject and um, also the house its object and verb painted so this sentence is according to the active uh, uh, rule which is subject plus verb plus object and here passive the house is object was painted here it is verb and by and by it is subject so this sentence is also according to the passive voice rule which is object plus verb plus subject next example the teacher always answers the students question the teacher subject always and uh, always answers verb the students question is object the student questions are all are answered by the teacher here in passive form the students questions are answered by the teacher the students object question uh, the students question is uh, object are answered is verb and by the teacher is a uh, subject next example ali posted the video online in passive form it beca uh, it becomes the video was posted online by ali here in active ali is a subject posted it is a verb the video online is object
In passive form, the video was uh, posted online by Ali. The video, its object was posted as it is verb and online by Ali, it is subject. So we have seen the basic rule of active and passive for active subject plus verb plus object and for passive the basic rule is object plus verb plus subject so let's see the rule or also you can uh, say formula for tenses in active and passive so first present indefinite tense so the role for present indefinite tenses in active do do does or a, e a, s e s form for passive is am are past indefinite uh, tense the role for active is second form or did passive voice it is was or were future indefinite tense will shall or for active will shall and for passive form will shall plus bill uh, pl plus b present continuous tense uh, formula for active voices is am are also passive uh, the formula for passive voices is a mar plus being rule for past continuous tenses was were for active and for passive was were plus being present perfect tense the rule for active is has have and for passive is has have plus been past perfect tense so the rule for active is had and the passive is had been future perfect tense so rule for active voice is will shall plus have and for passive is will shall plus have plus been so uh, jo ye rules hain वो आपको बताते हैं कि आ, कि अगर आपको एक्टिव में जैसे ये जो टेंसेस है वैसे एक्टिव में आपको सेंटेंसेस मिले तो आपको जो आप, आप जब पैसिव में वो कन्वर्ट करेंगे तो व्हाट यू हैव टू ऐड और हाउ यू हैव टू मेक द फॉर्मेट ऑफ द सेंटेंस इट टेल्स यू लाइक दैट सो दिस ऑल Twelve tenses will help you. Uh, what the tenses? The rule in active voice and passive voice. So the rules are going to be uh, helpful to you for changing an active voice to passive voice. So here, in first present indefinite tense, active form, uh, active voice. Me, jo hai do ya does aata hai sometimes. एंड एस ई एस आता है और आप उसे पैसे फॉर्म में जब बदलेंगे तो ईज एम आर इन तीनों में से कोई एक आना ही चाहिए पास इंडिफिनाइट टेंस सेकेंड फॉर्म ऑफ वर्ब आती है वर्ब की सेकेंड फॉर्म और डेड आता है so when you change into passive voice it become uh, it can it should contain was or were according to the sentence so future indefinite tense uh, it Uh, contains will shall, but when you change into passive voice, it should have uh, it should have will shall. But also, uh, be be आना चाहिए sentence में be. Present continuous tense so active voice में is am are आता है, but when you change into passive, uh, you, it should also contain being in the sentence. past continuous tense it has was were in the active form but when you when you change it into passive it should also contain being so here uh, jo present continuous tense and past continuous tense uh, dono ka uh, dono mein being aana chahiye passive form mein jab aap isse change kare present perfect tense uh, active voice contains has have but when you change into passive it should ka also contain been so also uh, friends remember uh, this difference between being and been so don't get confused between among them 
पास परफेक्ट लेंस एक्टिव वॉइस में हैड है बट व्हेन वी चेंज इन टू पैसिव फॉर्म इट शुड कंटेन हैड बीन मींस हैड के साथ बीन भी आना चाहिए and the last is future perfect tense it has will shall pl uh, plus have it uh, contains but when you change into passive form it should contain will shall plus have we have but also we sh uh, the sentence so, uh, should contain been in the passive form so hope you all understood uh, the rules of the uh, active and passive in all types of uh, it means in all tenses so hope video you find the video useful and if you find it then la subscribe our channel like and share also uh, guys don't forget to see uh, my up, uh, my active and passive voice earlier video that i have uploaded you will uh, understand it better if you have seen it so thank you for watching the video please do subscribe like and share